Bitcoin has broken out of this ascending triangle as we have been expecting and my $2 million long position is in an insane profit of approximately 5 Bitcoin. Today, I'm going to be talking about exactly where are my TP points, where, where am I going to be taking my profits, and also, if you have not been buying Bitcoin yet, where should you be buying Bitcoin? And we're also, we're also going to be looking at all the fundamentals, TA-wise. So if you like the content, please leave a like, subscribe, and let's jump into the video. So... Bitcoin has been surging to the upside that as we have been expecting and as you can see on the 4 hourly chart we have broken out of this ascending triangle perfectly and as we have expected and the breakup target of this ascending triangle is approximately so it's approximately at the 31k area so if you want to be getting this target so basically you just you know measure the highs and the lows like this and you break you move this line to the breakout point and then you will be getting the measurement target of approximately 31k and also you would like to be seeing on the daily time frame whether this is coinciding with other resistance and yes on the 31k area yes we do have some you know some sort of resistance as you can see over here but you know it is not so crucial so the main area i'm targeting is the 32k zone as you can see here on the red box the 32k zone is the major resistance zone not only on the daily time frame but especially on the weekly time frame as you can see over here on the charts so if we were to be hitting this zone we should be rejecting this temporarily momentarily but however ultimately i'm expecting bitcoin breaking out of this area and you may be wondering if you have not be bought Bitcoin yet, why? Why, Mr. Ken? Why do you expect Bitcoin breaking out of the 32k zone? And the reason why is because I know many people have not been buying Bitcoin yet, even at these prices, and even at these prices, and even at these prices. And the reason why is because they are expecting Bitcoin to reject at the 32k area. And you do see some, you know, crypto analysis, crypto Twitter, you know, I shouldn't be calling them an like an I shouldn't be calling that analysis, but yeah, they are still calling for a 10k Bitcoin. Still, despite you know, breaking, making a double bottom and forming a reverse head and shortest pattern on the weekly time frame and breaking out of the neckline of the 25k area, they are still calling for 10k. And it is clearly showing that they do not understand TA. So if they, if you do see any kind of people talking about that, that is nonsense, and you should not be following them clearly because they do not understand crypto. They do not understand crypto, and they do not understand TA. And yeah, they do not understand the psychology of a market cycle. So if you don't know about this chart, this is the chart that we we often we often talk about. And yes, we have been saying that Bitcoin is in the hope stage. Yes, we, Bitcoin is in the hope stage. However, people are being bearish because they weren't able to buy Bitcoin. And the longer that we have been, you know, been as we have been saying, the longer that we range at these areas, a lot of people will become bearish because they are like they want to buy at the 25k area. The 25k area is a clear support support zone that they want to wanted to be buying Bitcoin at this zone. That is the reason why people were being bearish despite Bitcoin making a higher low at these levels. And also on the weekly time frame, Bitcoin has been making multiple, you know, multiple, you know cross cross sticks how do you say i don't know how i don't i don't know how to call these candlesticks but yeah they have been making you know these kind of candlesticks which is in suggesting people are in people are interested in buying bitcoin at the 26.6k level making these kind of wicks consecutively for three weeks it is clearly showing that buyers are interested at these levels and we should not be seeing at the, tw seeing the 25k level and we have been talking about that exactly and it is playing out perfectly that we have been that we have been expecting and in proof you know i have opened a 80 bitcoin long position in total and it is right now in approximately five bitcoin profit which is approximately a 150k usd us dollars so i'm showing you everything i'm showing these massive trades i do not believe any other traders out there are showing you everything like this and they are obviously they are not talking they are not saying and I do, I do believe that, you know, they are not talking about why exactly why they are putting in longs or shorts. And I'm and on this channel, on this Mr. Ken community, in this Mr. Ken community, we are going to be talking about all the evidence, 
all the reasons why and that is the reason why we are so successful since we have broken out of the 18.4k level we have most likely won all the trades 90 percent on the trades and we have gone we have you know gone for everything and i hope that you guys are still holding your backs because i do believe bitcoin is going to be breaking out of the 32k level and yes let me go back to the you know initial question you may be asking me mr ken why do you think we're going to be breaking out of the 32k level given that this is crucial resistance we should be rejecting it. Yes, we could reject it. Obviously, we're going to be rejecting it temporarily, momentarily. But however, ultimately, I'm expecting a you know breakout breakout out of the 32k area. And the reason why is because many people weren't able to buy the Bitcoin at lower prices, and they are still not buying Bitcoin at these levels because they are expecting Bitcoin to reject at, reject at the 32k level. So you need to be thinking like that. It is a crucial resistance, and many people are expecting Bitcoin to reject at this level. So that is the reason why Bitcoin is going to be breaking out of this level. You need to be thinking, you need to be thinking two times faster, even more than others. If you want to be, you know, if you want to be navigating through the markets better than others, you cannot be thinking like others. You need to be thinking smart. So. Yes, and let's go over to this chart. And we have been talking about that we are in the hope stage. A recovery is possible. People are thinking like this. And yes, we are entering the optimism, op the optimism stage. In my opinion, we have been consolidating like this for a while after we had the disbelief stage. I mean, yeah. I mean, looking at this or comparing this chart to the to this one, it does look extremely similar, which is you know kind of scary. But yeah, it it does say over here that this is a you know cheese. A Wall, Wall Street cheese, cheese street, cheese sheet. So, I mean, we got the word on the street. I mean, apparently this is a cheat sheet. But yeah, most of the people don't understand that this is a cheat sheet. But yes, if you truly understand this, you know, the psychology of a market cycle, you really do understand. You really do actually. You do really, really do recognize this as a cheat sheet. And I really do recognize this as a cheat sheet. So it's pretty scary. But yeah, I mean, yeah. If you so we had the display stage over here. And we are bouncing off at these levels. And yeah, you're able to see that it, we are experiencing very similar movements. And we had this, you know, range balance structure. I mean, nothing is, you know, si oh, yeah, we, I mean, pretty similar, right? We had this range balance structure. And we are currently facing the optimism stage. The rally is real. People are starting to believe in this rally. And once we break the 32K level, we are going to be entering the belief stage. Time to get fully invested. All the, you know, all the bears out there are going to be turning bullish everybody's going to be bullish at that moment and then when once we are going to be hitting much more higher prices after we break the 32k level we should be seeing a 36k bitcoin once we break the 36k area we should be entering the frill stage i will buy more i will buy more on margin gotta tell everybody to buy and once we hit the 40 40 to the 47 king region that's going to be the top and everybody's going to be talking about a new all-time high i do already see on crypto theater People talk about an all-time high, and we're going to be entering the euphoria stage, saying that I am a genius. We're going to be all rich, and you should be feeling like that. But that's what that's that is what everybody is feeling like. So you must be counter counter trading your emotions, and if you understand your true emotions, that your true emotions are what people are exactly thinking, then you'll be successful in the markets. And that is how I am trading. The I am trading against the crowd, and this is how we are so successful on this YouTube on. On this, you know, Mr. Ken Community YouTube channel. So, so you may be asking me, okay, so when is the next? What what is the you know all time? I'm not the all time. What is the top for this rally? I'm expecting a 47k Bitcoin, and if we are lucky enough, we could be seeing a 52k Bitcoin. And if we are really, really, really lucky enough, we could be seeing a 59k Bitcoin. But yeah, we need to be seeing you know all the you know all the you know indicators on the, uh, the RSI. We want to be seeing you know the RSI, you know. Being you know, in the overbought territory like the eight, like in the eighties, like we saw over here. I mean, I don't know if we're going to be seeing a blow off top. I mean, we should be seeing a blow off top like this, and we could be consolidating around these areas for a while. So it's not going to be like a blow off top like we've seen like in the twenty seventeen bull market and twenty nineteen bull market. We should be seeing a consolidation. I mean, a slow you know, a rounding, rounding top like we have seen, given that Bitcoin's market cap is growing a significant exponentially significantly. So. Yeah, I'm expecting 47k Bitcoin to the 50k region, and we should be consolidating like this. And yeah, I'm expecting you know Bitcoin to hit the you know sub 20k area by the by early by the early 
by early 2024. And if you want to be knowing why I'm expecting that, make sure you watch this must watch video. We have been calling for the bottom since two months ago. And yes, this is, I have a roadmap for 2024, 20, for 2024, for the next 2024, 2025. And yeah, and for the next bull market. So make sure you watch this video, guys. Yep. So I think, and yeah, also, yeah, there's one more thing I want to be mentioning. CPI is coming out tomorrow. And I do believe that, you know, this, you know, data is going to be in coming out, you know, as, as, as we have on the, on the consensus. And if you are, if we are going to be getting the same data, we should be, you know, pumping to the upside. Even if this is, you know, a little bit, you know, even, even if the data comes a little bit hot, we should be, you know, seeing a correction by ultimately to the upside. But if you are, if we do get a data, you know, much more less than this, Bitcoin is going to be pumping like crazy. So CPI is going to be coming out. We should be watching this very closely. And also, let's look at the open interest. And yes, we are having a new, more new positions being open given the recent Bitcoin pump. But you know, however, you know, I mean, yes, we are having more positions. And also, the funding rate is positive. But you know, if you were to be looking at the four early time frame, you can still see that we are still having a historically low, you know, position like you know, open interest like. The, if you don't know what the open interest is, it is the aggregated amount of the longs and shorts, and yeah, we are having you know a lot of a lot of the positions opened, but you know historically looking, we are still having in much more or less positions than, than we were at the 25k level over here. So I do think that there is a lot of still a lot of upside for Bitcoin, and yeah, I'm expecting Bitcoin to you know hit the 32k level, and I and I'm looking to take some profits at the 32.5. 2k 4k level and the reason why is because if you were to be looking at the bollinger bands i mean we are having a 20 monthly moving average at the 32.2k level specifically more specifically 32.4 so yeah and this is coinciding with horizontal resistance at these levels so we should be rejecting this area but however you know we should be ultimately breaking out of this zone so i'm thinking about scalp trade scalp trade i'm going to be taking profits here i'm going i'm going to be you know re-entering at those levels and i'm going to be yeah taking profits on my OKX, OKX account, at least on my OKX account. But I don't know about what what, I, what I'm going to do with my, you know, big get long. So if you want to be trading like me, if you if you would like to be trading like me, and only, only if you're experienced. And I mean by, if you understand why I am saying specifically in this video, I will be recommending you guys using big get. And the biggest bias is because you see, Taker is 0.042%, Maker is 0.066%. The trading fees are extremely cheap. On Binance, you get a 0.1% trading fee. So yeah, it is extremely cheap. So yeah, make sure you sign up from this link because you'll get an additional 32% rebate, commission rebate if you sign up from this link over here. And you also get a 5K deposit bonus. So make sure you sign up a big kid. Okay, so you get an additional 5% you know, commission rebate. Make sure you sign up by bit. You get a 30K deposit bonus. So if you're a whale, make sure you sign up on Bybit. FXGT by just signing up, you get a hundred dollars cash and leisure. Make sure you guys you get your leisure, guys, because you know, I mean, this is how I store my crypto, and you should be in you know, the prioritizing on you know protecting your crypto. So I think that's it for the video. Thank you so much for subscribing. I mean I'm really glad, you know, for you guys, you know, tuning in my video. I, I, yeah, and I also do see in the comments that, you know, I mean, you do appreciate my content. So, yeah, I'll be uploading you guys, updating you guys more frequently. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye.